Kansans, you know this, the date is set this Sunday, February 12th. The Kansas City Chiefs and Philadelphia Eagles are getting ready to go head to head on the gridiron. I can't wait for that. Rihanna is taking center stage at halftime and you know, parties are being planned. So how can we save some money for one of the biggest party days of the year? We need some help. So here for with some tips on how to save money for the Super Bowl, I'm so delighted personal finance expert Kimberly Palmer from Nerd Wallet is here. Kimberly, how are you? I'm good. I'm excited too. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Kimberly, so parties can get over the top. Where do we, we need to start? Where can we save some money? Well, a really good place to start is to think about the kind of party that you're having. I love the idea of having a potluck for the Super Bowl because then everyone who's coming can bring a dish yeah. to share. And that really helps to save on your own costs as the host, because as we all know, hosting can get so expensive. And then when you are purchasing food to make whatever it is that you want to serve at the Super Bowl, you want to think about where you're shopping. There's an app called Flip, F-L-I-P-P, -P, that is really helpful in making sure you're going to the grocery store near you that is offering the best deals. So I would definitely check that. And then lastly, when you are shopping at your local grocery store, consider opting into its loyalty program because often by giving your email or your phone number, it gives you some extra discounts. And of course, every little bit helps. Sure does. I love those extra discounts. And you know what? Those tips will definitely help us not go broke having our parties. Okay, so Kimberly, how about those last minute tickets that people are doing or trips to Arizona? I know. So yeah. this is very exciting if you have the opportunity to actually travel there. And what you want to do is really take advantage of any travel rewards that you've accrued if you have a credit card that gives you points. Because a lot of people mm -hmm. have been storing up those points, especially throughout the pandemic. And now is the time to spend them if you want to go ahead and be there in person. So check on that. Check, log into your credit card account. See what's available. And then you, when you're comparing prices for your plane tickets, you really want to see if you can be flexible because often just altering when you're leaving or coming home by one day can make a huge difference in your overall price. So be sure to compare all those options. Oh, awesome tips. Okay, so after the love of football day, that's over. Love is in the air for our sweethearts. So how can we save on Valentine's Day and still show some love? The best approach is to get really creative when it comes to gift giving. You don't even necessarily have to make a purchase. I think some of the most romantic gifts can be things like baking something, a treat for someone, writing them a poem, uh, thinking along those lines of even just spending time together. So just know you don't actually have to make a purchase to make the day feel really special. If you are making a purchase, the best time to buy Valentine themed items like flowers or candy is actually the day after after Valentine's Day. So if your loved ones are a little flexible and they don't mind if you're a little bit late, you can really get some incredible deals. I love the idea of just a personalized note, a letter, just spending time. Those are the things that really mean the most and make the, a difference in someone's life. Okay, so Kimberly, any other tips to keep us above water in 2023? I think my final tip is that also Valentine's Day can be a great inspiration for having that money talk with your partner. Oh. Just making sure, yeah, make sure you're aligned on your financial goals, your spending, your saving. And so I think Valentine's Day itself can just give you that inspiration to have that chat and make sure you're on the same page. That will make the love last, won't it? Thank you so much, Kimberly. Appreciate you so much. Thank you. You are welcome. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNAM-4PMNews at WNAM.com. Just use the subject 4PM News Spotlight.